Hello, everyone. Hi, welcome to Thursday. Yes, welcome to Thursday's video and welcome to a bin's haul. <sighs> It's a good one. It's a luxury. I feel like we haven't done luxury. one in a hot minute. We At least not. not like together. I feel like I have not done a bins haul and I literally don't even know how long, but I feel like because I have the memory of a goldfish, it's like two <laughs> weeks ago. I'm trying to, I feel like it's been a while because like last week was family thrift with us and home video and then the week before. I just feel like it's been a hot minute. It feels good to be like back to huge. We still don't have yeah. the, the outlet. So yeah. we're not completely back to usual, but it, it feels like we're like getting there. Yes. Yeah. I know, I do miss the outlet. It is like a very weird gray hole yeah. in this general vicinity. But or like, the lack thereof. The lack thereof of a gray, gray hole. Yes. Mm -hmm. But like we said, we will have the outlet back. We just have to like yes. do stuff with the office. But yes, today we have a bins haul for you guys. And this actually, as you saw by the thumbnail and title, is a luxury included <laughs> bins haul so i'm pretty it was excited. like a shockingly like it wasn't the best day at the bins like i didn't find my birkin yet notice the yet but i did find some very nice designer things yeah it was a it was like a pretty well-rounded that's what it is bins it was haul. very well-rounded yes mm -hmm. so before we jump mm -hmm. into the actual haul I would like to thank you guys for watching the bra and lingerie yeah, polo as well I as think it did word. yeah mm -hmm. i think it did turn out well and i learned quite a bit from that and i put the video together and i think you also learned some stuff i you did. were either googling brands for i you, well i wasn't googling brands i was googling people i was googling history i went on ancestry for a hot minute to delve into some <laughs> folks that was this week next week i think we are going to actually have a q a for the tuesday video i just mm -hmm. feel like it's been not only a hot minute but also we've had a few big life changes that you guys know about at this just point like you know I just One. feel like there's been a lot of evolution and change and progression. Yes, there absolutely has. So mm -hmm. please, 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 if you have a question for us, and it does not have to be about the house either. No. But if you have a question for us, please leave it below. I will also give the opportunity to leave the question on the Saturday video, since obviously we have that going up before the Tuesday one as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to like collect those and we'll probably get some from Instagram and we're going to do a QA and a for the Tuesday video, which I'm quite excited about. That I also feels like it's been a talking about myself, man. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun oh not like we just did it last tuesday or anything no what are you talking about what do you mean <laughs> and then next thursday i'm sure will be a bins haul yes. probably because everybody loves those i love the bins i can't wait to go back anyways we both have a freaking full ikea bag of stuff to show you guys stuffed so i suppose we should just jump into it i think i got through all of the little announcements for the day got some little things so let's jump into it. And I will begin, and I have a little stack of five, and then Ryan will take his turn as usual. I think we did maybe find like a handbag or two and a shoe or two, but they're somewhere in this house. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't kind know. Kind of like everything else that I own, it is somewhere on property. TBD has to like the specific. But we have all the clothing, so that's what matters. <laughs> the big blue bag that takes up half my kitchen. So my first item is actually a few items. And these are some baby clothes, which is very much so cute. a foreign like category for me. We always say we may do a kid's bolo at some point, and that's still possible. Oh. We just need to learn enough of them first. I feel like, when is like kid having season? Because like we Spring. did like Valentine's, Spring. like lingerie for like Spring Valentine's Day. When do y'all have babies? <laughs> and it's really me that, Batman. <laughs> Anyways, so what this brand is, because they're actually, it's three pieces. They're all the same brand. They're all super, super cute. It is a brand called Winter water factory and it's a very expensive kids brand it's like 40 bucks per onesie which is crazy because they'll grow out of this in a month i have friends that have children and they're like he grew an inch overnight but look at how <laughs> freaking cute this one is they're adorable a reseller needs to own this one it is a usps it's not official but it's like a male oh one God. these are all 12 are so months cute. i want to have four of them actually this is a surfer one. Oh, this one's adorable. Also 12 months. With the little snaps. This is some little cars and trucks and transport. Oh. And then this one's really cute. This is the first one I saw. This is like gardening. How spring. I know. You know? So adorable. Grow like, what is that, a rutabaga? Nope. <laughs> Radish? I don't garden yet. Next up <laughs> is a vintage piece. This is by Sanyo, which I have seen before, but I've never grabbed. It's like mm. a vintage designer brand, but I don't think it was like luxury and it definitely has not kept its value over the years. It's so 
but this is adorable. This is a polka dot vintage oh, trench coat. I'm obsessed with this. Full length, it has the belt and everything. And I just like couldn't skip this. No, like, and like this lining is so nice for one of these like vintage trench coats. It's an amazing it's condition. It's so cute. And it's a size, I think it's like a 10, it says on the inside. I actually do have this in my posh, I think at least half is in the posh closet. At least half. None is listed. So that I know is. So if you're interested in the size, it's in there somewhere. This is a Babaton piece, which is Aritzia, and it's uh. our favorite Aritzia brand because it sells the best. <laughs> this is a size large, and this is a wrap dress. It's some very like signature Babaton wrap dress. It's called like the Charlie or the yeah. Charlene. They and they make made a it ton in a of them. trillion different mm -hmm. prints. I love this print. It's very spring while also having kind of like a winter colorway. So it could it's be cute. worn it's now really cute. It's floral, but it's not like Miranda Priestly like florals for spring. Yeah. Okay. Like, you know, smack you in the face florals. Next up is J. Crew. And this is actually men's J. Crew, size small. And I'm very tempted to keep these, but I would rather have money just I because. I low-key think you should keep them. <laughs> I love him in purple. I think it's cute. I think it's a cute color. These are like a pink-ish like lavender, and they're actually like spell out J. Crew. It's embroidered <laughs> the cursive right there. We love a logo J. Crew. And yeah, these are men's. I think they're from like 2021. They're amazing shape. Like there's nothing wrong with them. Mm -hmm. And then this is amazing. Oh. And I'm sure this is like rare or something. I they're not, heard... I don't know about rare, rare, expensive. Expensive. Yes. And very keep their And it's funny because retail. I saw these. So this is a Disney piece, but it gets better. It's also Barefoot Dreams. Oh. This is a, what do they call it? Cozy Chic. Mm -hmm. Cozy Chic like robe coat. Barefoot Dreams Disney collaboration. I'm pretty sure it's frozen because it has like snowflakes. Yeah. Are you white maybe? Maybe. I don't know for no, sure. No, these are frozen snowflakes. Probably. 100%. Mm -hmm. That's, I feel like they would do like a modern movie. This is a small medium. And again, I don't, I'm sure these go for like 130 new at least, but it's got the belt. It's got everything. I think they were like 200 something. I remember I saw one of these at um, the big gift shop at Disneyland. It's called World of Disney. It's literally like a football field of like Mickey Mouse merchandise and they had a ton of Barefoot Dream stuff and the blankets, like the blankets that are like $70, $80 in Arnstrom Rack with the Disney stuff on them were like one eighty two fifty. Mm -hmm. They were so, so expensive. It's like a blanket you can wear. Literally. First up for me, speaking of Disney, I found, and I low-key might try this on. I think I'm gonna because it's adorable. It's this really cute vintage 80s, 90s Mickey sweatshirt. I love that it has like all the different little Mickey Mouse heads on it. I think it's adorable. I'm not like the biggest hoodie person, but I love this like kind of heather gray, like vintage looking style. This is, I don't know when this is from. It's made in the USA. Old. So it's pretty old. Here is the tag. I should be a lot better versed in my Disney tags, but I unfortunately only know like four or five of them. So that one will take a little bit of research. If I find out it's worth like, you know, $20,000. I'll definitely sell it myself instead of keep it. This is very fitting considering the lingerie bolo we just did, a cute little Victoria's Secret bra, new with tags. This one is a size 38B. Super cute, perfect for Valentine's Day. I found a really cute pair of PacSun jeans. I just kind of like these. I might take these to Plato's Closet, honestly, but they were just really cute. I like the little like 50s style, like bigger cuff at the end. And this wash I thought was really cute too. Cause it's not like dark wash, but it's not like class, you know, 80s like acid wash. This is really fun. I found a few pairs of these like vintage guests pieces when I was there. So I love these. It's this like really faded and I think they're supposed to be. Um, like beach cabana style. Yeah, so that's what they're like supposed to look like. But I love that it has the little guest triangle on the bottom and these are a size 27. And then this I found for Debbie because everything in her life revolves around one show and that show is Stranger Things. <laughs> Anytime we watch anything, she goes, well, is it like Stranger Things? What in it is related to Stranger Things? Anytime we're gonna watch a new movie or a new show, she's like, well, let me look up the similarities to Stranger Things. I'm like, I love Stranger Things, but there's other things that exist. Debbie, Stranger Things is not- There the are thing. stranger no. things than Stranger Things. Literally. There are different things. Um, <laughs> so this is, it's like a take on the Hellfire Club. It's the Hellfire Surf Club. It's from Quicksilver, which if you don't know, it's like a brand sold at like Zoomies and like PacSun. It's kind of like a surfer brand, but I figured that she would get a kick out of that. 
Debbie can be a surfer. Debbie can be a Hellfire Club member because we know if she was in high school, she 100% would be. Speaking of lingerie, <laughs> lingerie, this is also Victoria's Secret. This is a size extra small, and this is from their like more like designer expensive kind of like collections. The stuff they make that's genuine like intimate lingerie is very expensive. It's like that'd be like at least a hundred dollars. It's crazy. Then we have a headband, and I bet that you can guess who made this. So this is a UGG headband with the shearling lining to it. I think there are a few spots, possibly like right there, but they're very kind of like hard to notice. This is a large, extra large. People with big heads. I don't really know what that means. As somebody with a big head, <laughs> that's nice to know. This I love. Oh, this is cute. This is Free People, and it's a size extra small. And this is not a dress, though it kind of looks like it. It is actually a wide leg gauzy jumpsuit. It's that oh my gauze yes. stuff. Yeah, it's so, um, it's it, so nice. It has like an open back at the back, but I was really excited to find this. It also is definitely oversized. It doesn't like scream extra small. This is a very good for spring. I've like started to kind of look at spring a little more than I have been the past few months. Still mm -hmm. definitely not like focusing on it at all, but I've been looking at it more. I just want to will away all the cold weather and pick up like tank tops. I know this next weekend here, and I think week it's supposed is to be, gonna be so like cold. eight degrees is the high. Like every day, so that's great. Yay! This is Gap and it's size small and it's a ruffle trim maxi dress and it actually is kind of like a peplum bottom to it as well. But it's a very pretty print. There's a couple panels of it that kind of remind me of like Agua, like right here, this little floral section. I get it from like this. Like this, maybe not the colors, but like that kind of design. So I thought that the that was really pretty. It's from like 2019, so it's more modern and that's why I got it. Here is one of my luxury finds. So this is a beautiful double-breasted shoulder pad <sighs> included blazer and the double-breasted buttons on these say CD in them. So I'm sure you can guess who this is by. Also the lining. <laughs> says CD all over. Does it? Yeah. Oh, it does. So this is actually a Christian Dior blazer. It is part of Monsieur. And I was trying to do more research on Monsieur to find out like, what is that? And I think there's now Dior Home or Ohm, which is the men's line. Mm -hmm. And I think this is just like the 80s version of that, even though it doesn't carry as much value as I feel like it should. Even though it is kind of like a main line, it's just the men's. I don't know. Monsieur does not always keep that much value. But this piece in particular, I think is going to have a lot of value still in it. Oh, yeah. Double breasted blazers are so popular. This is so nice, so well structured and created. It also was hand created for some guy in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Like they made it for him, custom. <laughs> so, Where is Sheboygan, Wisconsin? I don't know. I've never heard of her. This is a 42 size, 42 regular, and I think it's stunning. That's and nice size. if it's not selling, I'm keeping it. So like, <laughs> the buttons are stunning. I just like love that. And this is by Black Mountain. It's a size large, Black Mountain Outdoors. It's very faded because this is vintage. I love this. And this is one of those streetwear vintage like Sherpas. It's so soft though. Oh. With men right now, these are so popular. Mm -hmm. These like vintage tacky, they used to be kind of like a grandma thing. Oh yeah. And now they're literally for like street wearing young men. I think it's because Supreme did one of these. Yeah. I don't remember if it was like polar bears or if it was like one of the big like eagle faces that you kind of see sometimes, but they did a collab with like one of the original companies that makes this kind of thing. And I think that might be where they came from. I have no idea. It Streetwear kind of comes out of left field <laughs> all the time. So it could be some guy I saw some grandma wearing this. <laughs> I think it's good because when we were at the bins, one of the vintage guys came up and said, oh, good find. So like- That's very funny. <laughs> That's very nice to know that yeah. I'm in with the kids. Yeah, but I would say this would fit a men's large. So okay, so these might end up at Plato's Closet as well, but I couldn't skip them. It's a pair of Levi's, 710 Super Skinnies in a size 24. Back I, in the day, those would have been a score. I literally would have had like stars in my eyes <laughs> if I found these like six, eight months ago. But I love that they have like the distressing to them. I think, I don't know, I might kind of just be like spinning a wool here, but I- I have a sneaking suspicion that like distressed denim in like spring 
tend to be yeah. hand in hand. I don't know. I could absolutely more be more lying to myself because like I want to sell them and make money. Either way. <laughs> These are- I may be living in delusion and illusion, but- I s constantly live in a state of- um, <laughs> Delusion. A state of- uh, Confusion oh and illusion. State of disbelief is me 24 7. what state do you live in a state of disbelief, state of disbelief. okay <laughs> these are actually super cute so i will show you the brand before i show you what they are they are american eagle and they are the 90s boyfriend overalls these are a size extra extra large and i picked these up because they are from may of 2021 but they are so cute they have like all this distressing to them i love that they're plus size because everybody needs a good pair of overalls they're amazing they're so good um, and these, I think the overalls still do really good. I remember when I used to like go to the Plato's closets every now and again, they always had overalls there and they always sold well, quite well. You and whenever you have like gap overalls and stuff, you sell them so I fast. I love gap overalls and they do quite well. Overalls like are never cheap. Like you no, can kind of get them anywhere. So and expensive. They're, they're always about a hundred bucks. It's crazy. And they just, they don't like make much. No. And people that like overalls though. Artists, gardeners, and artists. Artists. I just like only buying one pair of pants, and then I can wear it as a top. I like too. a pant that's a shirt. I like a, a pant that I can put my snacks in when I'm bored. Anyway, um, <laughs> these are predominantly for Depop. It is this really cute pair of Nike. They were how much at Goodwill? Five. Um, they were five bucks at Goodwill, which is quite nice. They are a pair of Nike, and they used to have a thing on them, but I don't know where it went. Little like tearaway basketball pants. These always do really good. They do not have like a Nike size tag in them anymore, but I would probably say they're like an extra small. It's a pretty color. I know, I love the blue. It's oh, such that's a, a swoosh. Cool. There it is. I was gonna say leg. it's kind of like hidden. It's yeah, the there legs. she is. Le eggs. Wow. I remember that's, that's a how weird I little spot. I was like, how did I know these were Nike? You can on the leg. Kick someone with your like you Nike. Kick. Logo. Okay, this is very sentimental to me. This means the world. Um, not because like anybody I cared wore this, but for one reason. Um, so it's Calvin Klein, size medium, and it does have a little bit of makeup around the neck, but our dryer comes next Thursday. So thankfully That's I will be to. able to wash all these clothes. Today we bought wonderful. a dryer and we ordered an installation session for the dryer and the washer. So we'll finally have our downstairs. Wow. It's gonna be great. Anyway, this was one of the absolute first items I ever sold on Depop. It was this exact same sweater in like a yellow and a green instead of the black and the white. And I was like, oh my God, she's back. All so I was back. like, this sweater could have literally been moth eaten and I still would have bought it. All the way back in 2021? Literally. So long ago. Literally. <laughs> I grabbed this um, with graduation season in mind. I know it's only January and people don't graduate until like May, June, but people are going to be looking for those picture outfits much earlier. Um, so this is just like a cute little dress. It's LA Hearts by PacSun, but it's new without tags because it still has a little like... That's who makes LA Hearts. Yes. PacSun. I don't know if they do anymore. I want to say I think they still do because this is like new. more you know. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. I just thought this was like a really cute little like blue dress. I think this would look really good in pictures. I love the flowers on it and the open back. It's very like modest, but also like very good. Like you can give the picture to grandma and she's not going to be like, Susie, your dress is a little small. Looks good. Very Brandy Melville. Very Brandy Melville. So next up for me is a pair of Levi's. And these are some more modern Levi's. They do have this one spot here, but these are 501s, as you can see right there. And these are also some distressed jeans. So I guess that's like a theme for this video that I didn't realize was happening. Oh. Besides that one spot on the back, there's like nothing else wrong with them. They're size 28 and they have a 30 inch inseam, but I think these are cute. And I mean, like jeans are, kind of for every season. There are definitely people that wear jeans like all year. Mm -hmm. This, okay, so this next turn of mine has a number of luxury pieces. And one of them is actually this next piece. This is cute. And this is a girl's item. So when we do do a kid's bolo, this will be on She it. will make an appearance. So the logo for this brand is this. It's very hard to see and it's right here, but how freaking Barbie core. Aww, little pink sweater, so cute. This is a girl's size 10 and the brand on this is Pinko Palino. Who? But their stuff is so expensive. Like it's like ridiculous. Someone had a dress, a girl's dress by them, listed on Posh for 250, which is a little crazy. This I listed for 50. 
Because I was like, I don't know about that one. I don't know about some poor mom spending but $250 like, on her children's dress. Adorable. Another luxury find. Oh. This. So jealous. You might be able to guess from afar kind of what it is. Because this is very like the look of the brand. That you made. know, you know. So this is Isabel Marant. And it's the Etoile line. Which is very, like she makes very like boho-y. Kind of like upper class anthropology. It's honestly, like the anthropology stuff. people that don't that, live anywhere near an anthropology because they live in like Like our park. CEOs, yeah. Yes. This is a size 40, which is a size four. I did look that up. Nice. And couldn't find a model picture, but that's okay. Something like this photographs so well. I think oh. it's so adorable. It's like that slubbed cotton, the nice embroidery. Then we have another men's piece. And this is a, this is probably this maybe is my really favorite men's brand to sell with like Patagonia and Pendleton. Mm -hmm. This is Filson. And this is a size large Filson. I love the colors to this. And this might just look kind of like a button up, but Filson does mm -hmm. so good. And Filson is so expensive. Filson's in the Twin Cities? No, but. Oh no, there is, there's one. And it's in the really expensive mall with yeah. like Louis Vuitton, David Yerman, yeah. um, the Kate Spade. There's like a Tory. It's like in like the bougie, bougie, bougie mall. And then sometimes, if you know Sierra, mm -hmm. they sometimes carry it, but it's very expensive. It's like two, three hundred dollars for a piece. Yeah. It's crazy. So next up, another luxury find. This is St. John. And the tag is a little bit dirty, but this is a size six. And this is a beautiful oh. evergreen jacket. These are like turn lock buttons almost. I thought at first that they were kind of like locks or clasps, but they're just like buttons that you like slip in. They're beautiful. But I hope the color's showing up well. It's literally like evergreen. It's Think so of a pine good. tree. That's the color this is. Mm. I know that it did not photograph well. But like, look at them. Look at the color. They're also kind of like tortoise-y. Look at that. They have like these gold little swirlies in them. Those are beautiful. We love yeah. the St. John attention to detail. Good and then that. I assume that this is like a leather trim because you know that this jacket probably originally was like $2,500 or some <sighs> BS. Like Price that. of a good mortgage. <laughs> then we have a free people, size small. And this is adorable. This is like an oversized, like size small. I kind of want to keep this. This is so cute. Well, you're not going to because I listed it this morning and it has like six likes already. Okay. So this is like a <laughs> tunic, super, 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 super oversized sweater vest in tan. How trendy. How perfect. Cute. Next up for me is another item that might end up at Plato's Closet, but I just couldn't leave them behind because I thought they were cute. It's a pair of American Eagle jeggings. These are a size two and they are from 2020, which is why I picked them up. But they are just this like nice kind of like light wash, distressed pair of jeans with the like kind of frayed chew to him. Plato's gives, I think they still price them at like 16, 18 dollars. So you get between like six, seven bucks for them. They definitely don't weigh that much. Yeah. Um, so I was very happy to pick those up. This, I was kind of surprised in the brand. I thought it was going to be like some little boutique. It's Spiritual Gangster, size small, but it's just this really cute little plain. And I'm used to them having like graphics. Yeah. This really cute little plain, kind of like smocked, or I think this might be called Shuring, little sweatshirt. And it's absolutely adorable. I have a sneaking suspicion this probably came for Ever Eve, if I had to put money on it, but don't quote me. Okay, this is for my dad. A Tommy Bahama, size large, nice little, just like beige sweater. These are like $170 new, which I always forget how expensive Tommy Bahama is. And I paid two bucks for this one, which is perfect. Next is another item that might go to Play-Doh's. So this is PacSun, size 26. Jack threw this to me. I love that it has this kind of like techno goth little like belty thing on it. Super cute. Kind um, of gorp core. Very gorp core. Kind of. Because it's the bins and because it's me, I couldn't not find a free people. This is free people size small, really cute, like really wide mock neck, or not mock neck, turtleneck, Turtling. like fold over. Kind of a cow. Really cute beige sweater. I like that it kind of has this like little puff sleeve detail at the wrists. I think it's super cute. And it's it must so be like a soft. wool blend. Maybe? Yeah, I think it is. Not too much wool. Yeah. But I do have a big old bag of other kind of like things that are really not that important. A lot of Depop, a lot of things for the girlies, but these come on, however, these are not for the girlies. This is a pair of Louis Vuitton men's dress pants. This is funny. So they have them as a size 62. That doesn't exist. Um, It's the Italian size 62, but they were a Goodwill for $13. They are, new tags from the Louis Vuitton employee factory. 
trousers, tuxedo, size 62. They have the date code and the little barcode whenever they would send them to you. I looked it up because I was like, how does this stuff keep getting to the bands? Because if you remember, a year ago, I found seven, eight pairs of Louis Vuitton employee uniforms. You have to, like, they measure you and then they send your stuff to you, like, specifically. And you cannot sell them. No. You get fired and they press charges if yeah. you sell your employee uniform. I don't know how they ended up in the bins. That was never clarified in any of the articles And $13? Nobody paid $13. <laughs> you didn't want these? Anyway, I'll take them. Um, beautiful pair of bigger men's black dress pants. Absolutely stunning. They feel amazing, but like, why wouldn't they? Because they're Louis Vuitton. And I don't even want to know how much those cost for them to make for their little employee. They must have been like a spare pair he had, then he left or he quit or whatever. I don't know, I don't know like, if like, they're the not even... store, because there's only one Louis Vuitton boutique anywhere in the Twin Cities. And it's at the same mall, literally right across the little hallway from Filson. So I don't know if they just kind of like donate it. <laughs> he took his Filson, he took his Louis outfit and he just... I don't really know what the dealio is, but either way. <laughs> so next up, I have a couple of Lululemon sports bras, really cute little black and white striped one. I do not know the size. The striped stuff can be like rare, even though I, I don't- I know it's that one pair of Wonder Unders, but like- I don't know how much that applies anymore. anymore. I don't know. Um, I also don't know what size these are. I really haven't done my due diligence unchecked. And then just this like really cute little white one. This really amazing, I think Jack actually found this. It's so cute. It's vintage Union Bay, size large, but I love this jacket. I love that it's cropped. I love that it's chunky. I love that it has this really amazing, like circle zipper. I love that it's corduroy. Everything about this is just like chef's kiss. Phenomenal. So my next item is another free people piece and this is a freaking adorable pair of jeans. These are so cute. They're by We The Free. They're a size 25 and these are a super high rise pair of straight leg faux busted knee jeans as in the knee is busted but there's a layer under it like my hand is behind it right now it gives a really cute look where you actually could wear it and be a teacher because i won't get in trouble for a busted knee that is my one big complaint with most jeans is that the busted knees do not stay in that cute little busted hole for that long it turns into like yeah it's awful so they have a little split at the bottom and also the inseam on these is 33 inches so you can wear your super high heels or you can be a really tall person and wear them which i can appreciate next is one of my favorite finds of the day stunning this is one of my favorite collections ever it's j crew and liberty london they have made the most beautiful prints, almost ever. Size medium, and also just like the styles that they made together are before. so cute. They're always 100% cotton. They're always super well made. Here's the front, just kind of like a smocked little like neck. And then the back is actually like this lace detail. Puff sleeves, beautiful, really, really busy, but really, really detailed floral print. It's so cute. Freaking I up. love the Liberty London stuff because it looks good on literally yes. anybody of any size. And it's so like, saturated. The girls that are an extra, extra small and the girls that are an extra, extra large look just as stunning in the Liberty London stuff, yeah. which I think is like really hard to do for a collection that's like super mainstream. Next up is a very, very old anthro piece, but in a good way, because that's not always good. Definitely, but this one's good. Porridge, size medium. And this is a tag. radish <gasps> printed little top. Oh, this so is cute. the type of vintage anthro that's like a collector's piece and can be like really hard to find and sought after. So I was really excited to find this. Most old anthro nowadays, but if it's collectors. We don't need her. <laughs> Next up. It's a brand that I know I have never hauled ever. And if anything, I've only shaded it in the past because I despise this brand. We got some shady comments up in here. So it's Nick and Zoe, and I despise Nick and Zoe. Super expensive, super lackluster. Not just that I think it's like not that good looking, but the materials are cheap. Check the materials. They only use like polyester and like just all the like plastic. Yeah, it's not not worth the money and it's so expensive. But. <laughs> Come however, we this, can all do good things. Though this is still a plastic tank top, it's adorable. <laughs> So this is a, it's called the like jungle safari print tank top. There are little like cute tigers. There are jungle leaves. There are some blue fun like palms. This is 
so pretty. It's an XL and I'm absolutely selling that myself. Usually with Nick and Zoe, I like consign it or send it to thread up or something, but mm -hmm. that is so cute. It is so cute though. And then I have a smart wool. We love knit wit and smart we wool. We love smart wool. Size large. And these are those weird like leg warmer leggings. Oh, the tights. Mm -hmm. But these do really good. I know they look strange. Because they don't have a person in them. They do really, really well. I will we say- We both sold a few pairs. I found one smart wool sock. In the bins, it was adorable, and I couldn't find the other one, and it made me so sad. And if you hear crumpling, it is Mike. <sighs> I'm digging through my bag to find my last couple of things, and Mike's sitting on the other one to put a stop to this foolishness. <sighs> okay. Next up for me, I have my last little pile of things of note and a couple of good gems. This is really cute, but it's a brand that I don't usually pick up or like that much. It's Scotch and Soda. Sordory. Sordory. Scorch and Sordory. Um, but I love this jacket. I love that it has this kind of just like distressing throughout. It's supposed to be like a vintage remake, so it's supposed to look like it's vintage. I love that it has this like panel taken out of the back. I think it's really cute. And I think like, again, this might be me reaching, but like spring and jean jackets, I always think are like very similar. Clearly spring is going to be your Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears oh, situation. I love denim and I love warm weather. Okay, next up for me. I love denim and I love warm weather. Things that do not Match made collide. in heaven. This was a really cute little surprising find. Kate Spade, New York, live colorfully, even though this sweater is black and white. <laughs> and it says, no sleep. Dun, dun, tail, Brooklyn. Tail. <laughs> <laughs> Really cute little sweater. I don't know what this is made out of, but because it's Kate, it's probably something expensive. 90% wool, 10% cashmere. Perfect. She has a little bit of pilling on her, but not that big of a deal. Super cute. Love those. I found two amazing, amazing Harley Davidson pieces. The first one, if this was like a short sleeve t-shirt, I would have kept it. It says Harley Davidson, and I love the tie-dye. And then on the back, it says S&P, Harley Davidson, I almost thought it said Sturgis. Handcrafted, da 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 Moretto. Marietta, Ohio, and then the phone number. I love these colors. And anything with this kind of like Harley Davidson tie-dye to it, I've come to find out from Depop, is very sought after and very expensive because they don't make them and don't send them to every store. I also love the colors. No, but like the red and the orange is just like It's like phenomenal. fire, but it's, it's also so kind of good. halloween -ish. It's so oh. good. Um, this one is equally as good. So this one is a new label. So here's the tag for the other one. I don't know like if these are- I feel like you usually see this one. Yeah. If I don't know if they're like specific to years or anything, um, but here is the tag to the new one. I feel like this one's probably newer. This one gives me like newer vibes. Um, size small, kind of plain on the front, just like a little gray t-shirt, but on the back, it has this beautiful, amazing silver metallic embroidered eagle on it. It's so cool. So the embroidery- Oh my gosh, and it's all like embroidered. Yeah, so like the embroidery thread is metallic. This is cool. And <laughs> I feel bad because I think there was a woman that wanted it and, but she wasn't in the band. I didn't break any rules. And I kind of like had a little moment and like, <gasps> and like snatched it. And I think she thought I was a little unhinged as I snatched it, which I like, think I unhinged. absolutely would have because I'm a little bit unhinged. Okay. So this, I honestly thought about keeping this because I love it so much. And this is a beautiful vintage wool rich sweater. Here is the tag. It's just this stunningly beautiful cream, a hundred percent wool little like quarter zip. I love that it has this kind of like longer suede zipper pull on it. I just think it's really cute. I think I could have worn it with a ton, but I have a lot of sweaters. Nowadays, Woolrich is on like Ukes. Woolrich is so, like, she's like Loki key having It is like expensive. It's really expensive. These I got for Debbie and I need to show these because they're hysterical. Because when you think of Debbie, this is what should come to mind. So they are Joe Boxer, which I don't know where it's from. Such amazing pajama pants. They are A, very soft. B, pajama pants. Debbie's favorite thing in the world is to come home and she says, I'm gonna go put on my jammies. I'm like, okay, Debbie. And they have penguins and little seals on them. How cute All we need is the color purple and a Coke. The, if these were purple, I would be like Debbie. And if they were holding little Cokes, done. KO, Debbie would have been dead. Okay, <laughs> so this is, I think, one of the last guest pieces. I think the other one is in, like, my wash pile, which ended up in the ether of everything that's being moved currently. Um, These are a little bit older than the striped ones that I showed a little bit earlier. Guess American Tradition, size 28. These, unfortunately, do not have the date tag in them anymore. The really, really old ones had a little, kind of like American Eagle, where they had a little, like, date thing in them that would show how old they were. But I love 
this like vintage kind of like very well lived in denim. And I love that they have the little guest triangle on the back. These say they're a size 28, but like- I have to measure. I don't know. These don't look like a size 28 to me. So I will definitely measure those. Okay, and I have five more things. And then we and will, then, then we'll go. Good. So this is a beautiful buffalo plaid check skirt and it's a wool blend. And this is by J. Crew. it's size four. Very Minnesotan. Mm -hmm. Literally the picture on the website was like a woman with her boyfriend or husband, both in buffalo plaid. And I was like, I feel like that's probably a picture from- How many couples from in Minnesota. Twin Cities fit this exact profile? Yeah. <laughs> then we have the Cali, it's like Love Cali. Yes. That's what it is. I couldn't remember the name of it. This is Free People. It's just like this oversized hooded knit, kind of like beach sweater because it's very loose knit. This is not a size. It's cut off. I think it's a size medium and it's still kind of like a boxy oversized medium, but small it's supposed medium. to be kind of like oversized. Yeah, I'd say probably a small medium. I have sold that once before in a plain way. It's called the like Cali Surf. It's called Love whatever. Cali. Yeah, something like that. And it does quite well. And they made a new dress called the Love Cali Dress. So it's like super hard to find the picture. Free people. I'm like, don't reuse the names. Stop just come it. up with something else. Like just do Cali Love instead of Love Cali. Just do better. <laughs> Anyways, this is another brand that I like never sell myself. I feel like I used to maybe like four years ago, five. Back Back in the day, you could get a fair amount of money for these little dresses. Not anymore. No, not anymore. It's Absolutely. Lulu's. This is a size small, made in the US. And this is a really pretty velvet black bodycon dress mm -hmm. with these like studs, these gold studs in it. I think it's so pretty. It's also yeah. like a little like gothic prom. It's giving a little of. like very upscale Valentine's Day. Yeah, I you think it's really, it's really pretty. pretty. I'd also just like, I love velvet stuff. Speaking of. Do you know what it gives me? Um, NBD vibes. That like Revolve brand mm -hmm. that only makes like small little dresses. <laughs> yeah. Next up is another velvet piece and this is by J. Crew, and it's a size 10. And this is a purple plum wine velvet blazer. Love me some J. Crew blazers. Mm -hmm. And it kind of has like a peplum detail at the pocket. So it's not like fully peplum. Actually, the back is too. But in the front, it doesn't really peplum at the buttons, which is probably nice because it's easier to button then. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love. And last is another brand I never sell. This I is... thought this was going to be much more expensive <laughs> than it actually turned out to be. I will say that. This I was very gooped. There's a whole haul of like brands that I don't normally sell. Mixed gooped with luxury. At the page. So first off, before we talk brands, just look how pretty it is. This is a oh. one shoulder, and it's shoulder pads, puff sleeve, metallic romper. Literally, is it a romper? Yeah, it is a romper. But yeah, it has like gold mixed in it and stuff. It's beautiful. And this is by Express. If he would have told me this was from like Beholden or like a really expensive anthro piece or like a really nice free people dress, I 100% would have believed you. This retailed for $100. It still has the tag attached. It still has both tags attached, like the do not return the with the massive tag. Little express tag. I will say, someone has sold this on Posh for $70. So this is, that's like a surefire example of why I say do not ever rule out mall brands completely. No. Like Express is not on my radar in any way, shape or form. But like, just because say you found that and it's Express, like don't be like, I don't know about paying up for them. No. But. If I found that for like three or four bucks, I probably still would have bought Absolutely. It but like, I pick it up in the vans in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. It's adorable. But if it was like on a $2 clearance at Play-Dohs or something, I totally still would Going on with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was Anyways, wonderful. God, now I have to clean up. Oh, this is longer than I expected it to be. Yes, it was. That's okay. <laughs> I think we were a little chatty. That's fine. Because we, like, we haven't done this in a while. We were trying to catch up. I like talking. Yeah. Anyway. So let us know what your favorite pieces were. You can say the luxury pieces, but then, like, say what non-luxury piece you also like. Things. We will see you guys on Saturday, obviously, for a regular What's Old Saturday without our outlet. That's okay. Again. And sure. then we will see you next week for the Q&A. So once again, remember to leave your question below. But if you don't have one yet, or you kind of want to mull one over, or you just happen to come up with one later in the week, Saturday, I will also kind of mm -hmm. like make the prompt again. So yeah. you can ask it in that comment section. So we will see you on Saturday. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>